QR codes are practical if you want to share data with your friends and we want to look here at how we can create QR codes in our Flutter app. And later you can scan a QR code and then you get the information again back. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. We want to start by creating our custom QR code and therefore I have already created here this text field where we can set some data inside and then we want to generate our QR code. To generate our barcode, we simply go to our pubspec.jml file and then you need to put here this dependency inside, barcode widget, and with this one we can then generate our barcode. So put it simply here under your dependencies in your pubspec.jml file. Then we go here again back to our build method and here on top of this text field, which is here, we want to build our barcode and therefore we simply call this barcode widget, which is exactly from this plugin which we have integrated before. And here we need to set first of all the type of our code and we want to display here a QR code. Then we also can set a color for this QR code. So this will be then later in white. And we also can set a data and we want to set here the data of our text field. So basically we have here a controller, a text editing controller, which has then the value of our text field. And we want to set this controller here inside and get the text of our field. Otherwise, if we don't have any text and if this is null, then we want to set here the hello world text inside. And this looks then like this by default. And if you like, you can also set here a width and a height, and then you can change here the height and width of your barcode. And you can also change here the colors of your barcode if you like. And this is already everything which we need to generate a QR code. And you can see if I click here that the QR code changes and I can also put here some more data inside and you see it always changes the QR code. And what you also can do is to put here some links inside. So instead of this normal data, you put some internet link inside and then your friend can scan this QR code and get this link by default. If you want to get this whole source code of this application, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more advanced and better developer. All right, now we have created our QR code and the next part is to also scan our QR code. And therefore we want to create here a second page and this is then for scanning our QR code. Here inside of this page, we have this button, which is exactly here, this button widget. And if we tap on this button, then we want to start our scanning process. And therefore I create here a new method, which is called scan QR code. And now we want to actually create here at the top a field, which is called QR code. And there we want to put our QR code, the result of our scan later inside. Then we want to create the scan QR code method and here we want to use another plugin. And this plugin is for scanning here this QR code and you can also scan barcodes with it. If you go to this website of this plugin which we want to use, then you see that for Android you don't need to do anything, so everything is done automatically. And for iOS you need to do some steps here so that this plugin works. And I will do this and go over this steps at the end of this tutorial. Now let's continue here with our scan QR code method. And here we basically want to get our QR code. And this is pretty simple, we simply call here this Flutter barcode scanner and then we call scan barcode. And here inside of this method, you first of all set the color of this barcode and this will be in hex representation. So simply use here some hex code and this will then result in this line which is later used for scanning our code. And here it is kind of a red color our line. And what we also want to set here inside is this cancel text and this will then later be shown here at the bottom so that we can cancel this scan process again. And we also can display here flash or not if you like. And therefore you have here another field where you can set to true if you want to have also this flash at the bottom. If you don't want to have it, then you can set it to false. Lastly, we want to set the scan mode to QR. Here the scan mode also supports barcode. However, in this case we use here QR codes. This method here basically creates this new view of our scanner 
And if you found something and scanned our QR code, then we get here the QR code back. And now what we want to do is we want to put this QR code, which we got inside of our state. So we simply put it here inside of the state level and we also want to update our UI. Therefore we put here this set state around. Lastly, we want to check for any errors. So I put here this try catch around and in case of this error, you simply can do whatever you like. So I simply show here this failed to get platform version inside of our QR code. And after it, everything should work here fine and you could then scan your QR code. However, I don't show you this with the emulator right now. At the end, I also want to show you how you can set up this barcode scanner for iOS. Therefore, you go first of all in the console or within your terminal to this Flutter project. And then what we want to do is we want to remove here this iOS folder. So I simply call here remove iOS or you can also remove it here within your file structure. And now this folder is deleted like you can see. After it, you can call this flutter create swift and this will again create our iOS folder and this time swift is supported. The next step is to open Xcode and this can only be done with a Mac OS, not with Windows. And here you simply click then on open in Xcode. Then you go here to the runner section and here inside you need to set the deployment target and we need to set it to at least 11. Lastly, we also need to set the Swift version. So we go to the build settings and here you can search for Swift. Then you go down and you should see that this Swift version is at least at the version of five. After it, you can close Xcode again. After it, you go within your project in the terminal again to the iOS folder. And now we are here inside of this iOS folder. And then you need to type here pod install and you need to execute it and wait until it's finished. And now everything should also work for you fine on iOS. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.